JaVale McGee was once the back-to-back -back Shaq in a full MVP and was the first player that Shaq had to actually ban from the show because he appeared that often. The beef between them became so personal that even their moms got involved. He was on the show so much that if you look up JaVale McGee's Shaq in a full moments, the video is 9 minutes long. I'll never forget when I was watching the infamous game 1 of the 2018 finals and I witnessed JaVale McGee get rim jammed by the bottom of the rim on a wide open dunk. Or when he was the only one running back on defense because his team was still on offense. Shaq had an absolute flame session every single time JaVale really did anything and is the reason the name Tragic Bronson exists. And although he does have many moments that left you wondering how he's even in the NBA, he has completely changed his reputation. Yes, the beginning of his career was rocky, but he was able to learn his role and that's caused him to play in a championship team for basically the past 5 years, while also winning 3 rings in the process. I say his career was rocky at the beginning because of the lowlights, but he was also playing on a terribly bad Wizards team. He was extremely athletic for a 7 footer, and I mean extremely athletic. He mostly spent his time trying to adjust his game to the NBA, basically doing anything he wanted. He even participated in the 2011 dunk contest where he would do a pretty underrated dunk that would get him on sports science. He was starting for the Wizards by his final year before getting traded to the Ty Lawson led Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets would sign him to a 4 year over $40 million deal, so financially JaVale was good. But throughout the next couple years with the Nuggets, he would slowly lose minutes after coming off the bench. And this wasn't because he was a bad player, he just really didn't know the best way for him to be effective. He's not a back to the basket big man and wasn't exactly the best at creating his own shot in the paint. Also, the Nuggets had a solid team of role players already. This would cause him to lose minutes and get traded to the 76ers in 2014. He would play 6 games with the Sixers before getting waived. He would be picked up by the Mavericks the next season, playing 34 games before getting a stress fracture and getting cut once again. This is the second time in his career he's been cut, and he still hasn't become the player we know today. But the very next season he was signed to the Warriors, playing in 77 games for one of the greatest basketball teams ever. JaVale has always been a lob threat, but the Warriors used JaVale's LeBron-like lob city finisher perfectly within their offense and pick and rolls. That was the first ring, and the next season, the Warriors would re-sign him again to another one-year deal. The 2017-18 season, he did the exact same thing as last year, coming in and playing hard when the Warriors needed him. After winning back-to-back -back championships and KD leaving the Warriors, JaVale would go on to sign with the Lakers. He would star almost every game he played in the entire season, doing everything he did with the Warriors but in a starting position. In the very next season, he would go on to start literally every single game, being the main center on a team with even Dwight Howard. He was the perfect player to come in and consistently get rebounds and play excellent defense while having a threat on offense as well. There was a reason he was getting minutes over Dwight Howard throughout the season, and when the Lakers traded him, they really felt it. After winning Ring 3, he was traded to the Cavs, but they had a million big men, so they would trade him back to Denver. The very next season, he would be signed to the Phoenix Suns to bring relief off the bench for DeAndre Ayton. He doesn't make the most money he's ever made, and doesn't get the most minutes he's ever gotten, but in the past few years, the importance of his play has been more meaningful than ever. He's such an underrated big man. Not only does he have the experience, he knows how to be impactful in the game even when he doesn't have the ball, and also plays completely different than when he first came to the NBA. And let's not forget, he won a gold medal with Team USA in 2020. Shaq really made people think JaVale was a joke, and some of the plays didn't help, but all he needed was time to adapt. It helps he played for the Warriors, and they've made solid big men out of several other players. JaVale is definitely one of my favorite role players in the league, and I actually trust the multiple times Shaq in a full MVP to help me win a championship. Imagine saying that in 2014. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot.